Well, first off, what are you doing these days? You say, you know, a lot of guys, a lot of fans want to know what former Falcons are up to, what it's on your docket. Well, I've been working with a a construction firm. We're general contractors, a company called DPR Construction now for uh, about 10 years, uh, 13 years altogether in the business. So, um, you know, I mean, it's a great group of guys. Uh, It's got, we got 16 officers around the country. Uh, I'm kind of one of the the leaders in the Atlanta office. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's a great group of fellas. And, proud to be associated with DPR. Now, you might not realize this, but we're coming up on the 75th anniversary of the NFL draft. Go back to your <laughs> draft experience. What was draft day like for you? Well, it was a scramble prior to draft day because I didn't own a tie, um, as you can see <laughs> from the uh, the old cuts, uh, or a sport coat for that matter. So uh, it was sort of crazy, you know. I mean, uh, when I knew I was going to be the first pick in the draft, uh, obviously the trip to New York was uh, something brand new for me I'd never really been much out of the state of California so uh, but it was fun you know I mean it's uh, you know reliving the uh, the moment is, uh, is is kind of fun each and every year when it comes around this time of year it's a little odd for you though to see just how big of a spectacle it's become it's unbelievable you know I, I, as we all know ESPN changed the way that we view sports um, you know since they've been on the scene it's you know it's made everybody else ramp up to keep up and now with the NFL channel and all the other outlets you know it's uh, you know we it, we're a football crazed country you know I mean everybody loves the game and and uh, wants to you know stay involved and be involved and it's um, you know for these guys you don't have to ask me the coaches it's a 12 month a year job mm-hmm. for them now you have a role as on the board of advisors for the Falcons. You keep up with the franchise a lot. Got your Falcon shirt on right now. What yeah. do you think about the team this year? A little bit disappointing last year, but the back-to-back winning seasons really seem to be on the right track. Yeah, boy, to get that monkey off our back was uh, huge. Um, I, actually, I'm really proud of the way the team kind of sucked it up at the end of the season. Uh, Matt going out there playing hurt. Um, you take anybody starting left tackle and quarterback out of the out of the mix, you know, uh, for any length of time in the NFL, and they're going to suffer. But to come back and win those three straight games late in the season, I just thought that says a lot about the character of the guys that we have on our football team and, you know, the direction of the coaching staff. I just uh, – I- I'm excited, man. I mean, the-, the needle is pointing dead up for us. And, uh, you know, I think with Thomas and Rich and, you know, Smitty all kind of singing off the same sheet of music, uh, nobody wants to hoist that Lombardi trophy any more than Arthur Blank does for the state of Georgia and the city of Atlanta. So, uh uh, I'm, I'm just hanging in there. I, I'm going to get my <laughs> ring, you know, one way or the other. We're going to win this thing, and uh, Old Bart's going to have a Super Bowl ring.